Well, hello guys, Sigaraga here, and welcome back to Daily Race Adventure. And today we are racing in Mount Panorama, otherwise known as Bathurst. We are driving in Mercedes 3 car in Group 3 race. So let's start the race. So the car of choice is Nissan GTR because this is the car fastest around this track. If you see the top ten leaderboard, most most of it is filled with Nissan GTR. So everybody using it except for me because I'm not used to the handling of this car Nissan GTR because this car is very tail happy. You see that fire burn in front of me, very tail happy. I'm not used to it. So yeah. Let's start the race. So we skip at the beginning of lap 3 into the first corner. Hit the car in front of me, so giving him a push. So we get the split stream from the car in front. And the car behind, Nissan GTR, get a split string. Plus, this car has a good acceleration. So, he might overtake me. I'm staying outside, he's inside. So, he will hit the car in front of us. Some feisty battle, some feisty action. So, yeah, we managed to stay safe and gain position from 11 to 9. Alright, into the next one. As you can see, the GTR is serving his penalty, giving us a free position. While for me, I stuck with the uh, Aston Martin while having his split stream into the chicane. Almost get him. Gaining, gaining on him. Into final corner, breaking leg, make a move. He hit me. I think he didn't see me and he kept hitting me and me spun I was really furious at this time really really furious because I lost so many plays look at that car behind me three wide in front of me so yeah into the first corner I was really furious at this time I was eager to get my position back and I spun again I spun again I don't know why and then I don't know why because I was really furious and I'm second last. I'm in second last. Now I'm last. What a great start. <laughs> Into the final lap. Trying to make a move. But I break a leaf because someone throw away the 100 meter board. So yeah, that guy have a, having a moment. So they it give us a uh, side by side action into this corner, it's a very tricky corner, uphill corner. And the guy behind me give us a tap. So another move done into the uphill section. Yeah, we, we managed to stay in front of him. So another move done. So in this final lap, I decided to push until this happened. My tire went a lot worse and I got tapped from behind and I spun. This is because uh, I did a burnout after the incident. So yeah, that affect my tire wear. So that's it, my race is concluded, my race done, second last, so yeah. That was the race. That was an awful race for me because of that incident. So let's hear the replay of it. Alright, let's see the replay. Into the final corner, he hit me. 
and he actually gives me space but this car is oversteering and use me as a moving wall to correct himself so let's see the steering wheel he's steering wheel right you see he's trying to fight this car but use me as a moving wall I don't know if it was intentional or not I don't know my day is ruined because of that guy so yeah move on into the next race starting at 9 you'll see so guys what do you think that incident earlier was it intentional or unintentional leave down your opinion down in the comment below make sure subscribe leave a like and share this video to your friend on to the next one so yeah behind this GTR into the first corner nothing to write home about because it was uneventful so yeah we fast forward into the first heavy braking zone which is this one I brake really late plus the split stream so under steering and then I hit a barrier so yeah that barrier can stop the car really instantly now I'm plumb last but don't worry we just start of the race long way to go a lot of overtaking yeah, yeah so yeah so that FD1 just rejoined the track which is distracted me so I missed the breaking point so I hit that Porsche luckily I don't have the penalty because the penalty system is really broke so yeah so we skip at the lap 4 into this corner behind the Subaru Sticking behind him into this uh, uphill section, trying to play safe because it's a long way race to go. Trying to stay safe, so we got a pretty position. That car was stopping over there. Got pushed from behind that FT1 into this really tricky left hander very fast one especially this corner if you is it too wide your race is over into this uh, down to the section behind the Subaru almost hit that Subaru he went into the grass and give us a position into the final section of the downhill try to get a good exit because long straight ahead of us Lap 5 behind this Nissan trying to make a move into this heavy braking zone he braked earlier than us so went inside a bit of contact and another move done if you look at the mirror there's an action behind us so into the lap 6 downhill section the Nissan in front of us is really really struggling trying to make a move in front of me because I want to take advantage of his slowness but he blocked us I bet he didn't see us so yeah so yeah I, I hit him because I had nowhere to go because my car is very very under steering into that corner so yeah that wasn't intentional but another move done so we skip into the final lap that guy in front of us got a penalty so it gave us a free position back to the position 9 where we all started at the beginning of the race so I think it is a great recovery race but not not that great because I didn't gain any position so yeah it was the race another not bad race just at that, at that point of the race at one point I was last so I finished 9 so that's good Bonus clip, racing in spa, grabbing Audi R8, fuel saving race, got a plenty of the fuel so I had to push into a sauce and oversteer because of that I went into the pit in the wrong way. What a way to ruin the race. What a funny way to ruin the race.
Alright, that concludes our video. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a like, and comment. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.